Is there a fix? Any, is there anything you see on the horizon that's going to improve this situation? Not in the short term. <clears throat> and I think, uh, you know, something to watch that I think is interesting is who can raise prices and who can't and who has pricing power. And, and it's not it's not uh, the same across the board. Some companies will be able to take pricing. Some companies will suffer because of it. And frankly, this is when uh, all those years and billions of dollars of marketing will pay off. And so let's talk about those companies. Which companies do you think can actually raise prices in this environment? And also, how, by how much? I mean, is there an upper limit at this point? Well, I think you want to cover inflation, right? And um, if you cover inflation, you stay as you are. And then that's the thing that, you know, no, I, I don't think companies are looking to expand margins at this point. <clears throat> but if you cover inflation, you can stay pretty much uh, the way you were before. <clears throat> if you don't cover inflation, then you go into a spiral. And, <clears throat> you know, we've talked about margins before and how it's important to protect margins. Really, we're talking about one one margin, which is gross margin. <clears throat> if you don't protect gross margin, then you can't continue to invest. Um, I would keep my eye on companies with the higher gross margins. Um, to focus on operating margins is a bit of a trap because sometimes they can get so high that you no longer have any room between gross and, and EBIT margins to invest in marketing. Um, and that's, you know, I think that is a, a function of years and years of ramping up earnings, double digit, right. the top line growth of one or 2%. You're, you're going to get margins ramping up to the point where you need a reset.